morning guys it is 11 10 a.m and we are a pretty good distance away from the plaza we're actually by the va right now because on the way to the plaza i picked up a 20 dollar and three cent double order on uber eats it's for my boy henry and for my boy omar and if you guys know henry is a fantastic tipper we actually delivered to him yesterday for dinner i believe or was it lunch and then we also got one for omar so we're gonna be starting the day off with a banger we are already at the village in though so I'm not going to bring the GoPro in just because there's always so many people here and the takeout spot the pickup spot is so congested with so many people it's so hot in there so I'm gonna leave the GoPro in there for the pickup but we will get the drop-offs let's go As I was pulling into the plaza, went ahead and picked up a $6.50 1.5 mile burrito action. I'm already here. They only got one burrito bowl, so it should be ready by the time we get in there. And it's going to be such a quick and easy drop off to make another $6.50. Let's go. Uh, for Eddie. Thank you. Two. I think this order only took me about five or six minutes to complete and it paid me $6.50. Now imagine if every order could be done that quickly and you get a minimum of $6.50. You would be absolutely, you You would make more money than a doctor. You'd make more money than a surgeon, bro. Okay, thank goodness I got another order in. It is just blazing hot outside right now. Even in the shade, it's just not helping at all because there's like these little spots of like where the sun can come through. But we got an $11 2.6 mile nine item Miller's Ale House. It is a double order and one of them is $6.50 so the other one should be, oh is the other one a no tip? Ooh no that's not good. Okay, there we go. So it was $11 what was shown for that double order and we ended up getting $13 for them. The first one actually was a $8 total and then the one that I just dropped off was a $5 total. Man, they only tipped $3 for their Miller's order. They had a freaking, um, they had one of those doors. They had like the two door system, right? Like a screen door, but it was a glass door and then they had the actual wooden door. I should have put their Miller's right in front of the freaking glass door, man, for tipping $3. What kind of crap is that? But I am I'm happy though these two orders did keep me in the air conditioning there's a few clouds outside right now but not a single cloud is over the sun all of them not even the clouds want to be in front of the sun bro so i didn't realize it till now but i completely messed up my schedule again on sunday i was only scheduled from i think 11 to about 12 30 right now it's 12 33 and i'm kicked off and the map is gray so uh we're gonna have to make it work with uber eats and grubhub i normally would not take this order just because i'd have to go all the way down to the beach and get the orders but they should be ready by the time I get there it was $16.77 going eight miles but the thing is the drop-offs are not too far away from the plaza so that does make it a little better hello I was picking up an uber for Susan and Kristen Susan and Kristen they're not up yet but he's working on orders back there right now so we'll get them in a minute. man stop playing with me where's the pool where's the fucking pool hello Hi. Here we are. Thank you so much. No problem. You have a great day. Thank you. You too. In my personal opinion, I wholeheartedly believe that Uber Eats customers are nicer than DoorDash customers. I don't know why. It might just be because my rating is a lot better on Uber Eats than it is on DoorDash. But I just like the, the 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 people on Uber Eats tend to give you more instructions. They call you. They text you. You know, they they let you know what you need to know. Gate codes and stuff like that. Uh, so that's cool. Dropped both the orders off. But it is 1:12 p.m. I was really hoping to knock these out before one because I think I got them around 1240 so it gave me about 20 minutes to knock them out but the thing is I got to the burrito social and even though I was about four maybe four or four and a half five even miles away uh, the orders still were not ready and they were not ready for a while and I was actually contemplating leaving and I was like man if I leave right now I'm all the way down on the beach chances are I'm not gonna get any other order until I get all the way back to the plaza so I kind of I kind of um, bamboozled myself I was kind of stuck having to wait for the order but I dropped both of them off man we're just gonna we're, we're, we're trying our best out here I said this in a previous video you can be as efficient and as fast as possible but if the restaurants are slow 
you can't do anything about that. We got an order on the way back to the plaza. It is a Smoothie King, $6.69. Also, just got myself an Uber Eats. Let's see what this is. Felicious, $11.04. Oh man, <laughs> I just took the freaking DoorDash one. $11.04 going 6.4 miles. That That is a little better, man, because there's hidden tip action on that one. Who's it for? It's for Gary again. Man, I'm just delivering to Gary every day, man. Gary said, man, stop playing with me. I ain't going to cook nothing. As long as Moosh is out here delivering, oh, I'm going to be ordering. Yes, sir. Okay, well, sorry, Tropical. Not Tropical. Sorry, Smoothie King. Gary needs me. Hey, I'm just picking up for Gary. Gotcha. Back on Wall Street, baby. Yes, sir. This is a sign. I've been coming to Wall Street a lot. I'm thinking I'm going to go. I'm thinking I'm going to be coming into some solid money coming soon, man. I'm going to come into a lot of money. And then I'm gonna use that money to make even more money. You see, that's how rich people do it, right? See, poor people, they take their money and they just spend it, they give it away. That ain't gonna, that ain't gonna get you rich. You gotta take that money and you reinvest it, right? So now you worked for that money, now that money, man, bird, get off the road, bro, thank you. You made that money, right? Now you're gonna use that money and the money is going to make you more money. And then when you get to a point that your money is making you money, you then pull out credit. And when you pull out credit, right, then that credit, you, tr you, you, you use the credit to build more credit that gets you more money. And the more credit you have, the more money you have. And the more money you have, the more money it's making you. Yes, bro, that is exactly how you become rich. Now, Moosh, well, if it was that easy, why don't I just go out to the bank, get some credit? Well, that's the thing. You ain't got any money. That's why you're out here. That's why you're door dashing. You gotta make some money. The bank, they gonna want that interest, right? So you gotta solidify yourself to getting that money. And that is how you become rich. See now, like wealthy people, wealthy people don't just have billions of dollars sitting in the bank. They got assets, right? They got these, they got these uh, townhouses, right? They got these homes. Those are assets. Those are appreciating assets because they increase in value over time. Granted, the if the housing market doesn't crash. Yes, sir. Another ten dollar order. Ten dollars for two point eight mile tropical smoothie action. It's six items for my girl Dawn. Okay. Um, I think that's I think that's food. Um, yeah, I mean that looks great. Looks like a lot of delicious things. Luckily for me, I did just get done eating my grilled Asiago Ranch Club. They made it correctly today, and it was delicious. Now let's go pick up this tropical smoothie, make another $10. I'm just picking up for Dawn. Uh, yeah, make it a little easier. Thank you. Hello. Oh, hey, how are you? Pretty good. So Thank food. You. There we go. You have a great day. Yes, sir. $9.07, 4.1 mile Wendy's action. I did also just get lunch from, dang it, he has drinks. Okay, okay, what do we got, what do we got? We got a Baconator combo, large lemonade, small Frosty, small vanilla Frosty Chino, three, okay, so two Frosties and a large lemonade. I, 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 don't, I don't like doing drinks, man, but it is what it is, man. He's paying me $9.07 to deliver this. I would be a fool to turn this down over some drinks. Let's go. Yo, that bird is vibing right now, bro. Are you a pickup? Yeah, it's for Travis. There's that. Thank you very much. Man, this... Cheers. Have a good... You have a great day. Yes, man. Y'all heard what he said. He said, cheers. I love when people tell me cheers, man. It makes me feel like I'm uh makes me feel like I'm in Europe. Yeah, cuz in Europe, you feel me? And in, in, in certain places, not everywhere, probably like the UK or something, right? England, London area. That's what they say. When when you when you do them when you do them a solid, they say cheers. Or you could go to Australia and they say cheers, mate. I say, "Yes, sir, ski. I come from America, baby. We talking about yes, sir." They talking about cheers, sir. I'm not even getting DoorDash orders anymore, but it's cool because I'm getting Uber Eats ones. We got a burrito action, $7.60 going 3.1 miles. Since yesterday, actually, it's mainly been Uber Eats. If it wasn't for Uber Eats, I wouldn't be making any money. So let's go to Chipotle. Hey, I'm speaking up for Corey. 
Yes. Thank you, man. Okie dokie, no drop off action for that order. It was to the guy, I think yesterday, that had the hidden tip for the chicken action, for the Chick-fil-A. I delivered to the same people again, but this time it was on Uber Eats, so every time I tried to call him, it just kept saying that the number did not exist and to try again later. Also, I was trying to text him to see maybe if he would see it, maybe if he would reply. It took about, I believe, four minutes for him to actually call me back. I'm glad that he did because I don't, I don't want his food and I don't want to just leave it out and then someone takes it and then I don't get my tip. I'd rather wait the few extra minutes, um, you know, make sure that I still get my tip. He did end up calling me back though, got him the order, so I should get my tip, which is good. But man, even, even customers are slowing me down. Freaking the restaurants are slowing me down, the customers are slowing me down. Just, there's nothing you can do about that. There we go, another decently good order came in. $6 going 0 0.8 mile burrito action. It's, I mean, it's the best one that's came in so far. You can see this dash, we've made zero dollars. I think overall today, again, on DoorDash, we've only made $19.50. Most, or actually all of the other earnings that we've made today so far have all been Uber Eats. Oh, actually, we did get an Uber Eats order as well. Uh, it is Chipotle, but uh, yeah, that's not really that great. Six eighty-eight for 4.5, I will not take that one. For Kelvin, thank you. So I made my way back to the plaza. I did have a DoorDash order. It should pop up right now that I'll miss it. This is a $6, there it is. This is a $6 for 1.1 mile Outback. I think I'm gonna take this one instead. Uh, the, the one that I had up here, the DoorDash one, let me put this, let me just park you, man. So the DoorDash one I had was $7.75 going 4.4 miles. It was a Miller's Ale House, but it was only two items for it. And this Outback one is $6 going only one mile. So the thought process is is, I mean, it's only two items as well. So the thought process is I'll knock this order out that I have way faster. I'll already be close to the plaza, so I'll get another order in, and overall it should just be better. So let's go to Outback Steakhouse. Hello. There we are, man. Have a great day. Hey, man, what's going on here today? Why is everybody saying cheers to me? Do I look, is it how I'm dressed, bro? Do I look different today? Did, 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 did I sleep and come out looking like I'm from the United Kingdom or something, man? Everybody cheering me, man. I might have to start saying it, guys. I might have to start saying it. Cheers, sir. It just doesn't sound good. Cheers, sir. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Cheers, Surski. Yes, bro, that sounded great. It sounded awesome. Finally got a semi-decent order on DoorDash. $6.75, 2.9 miles. It is only two items. Philly cheese and an English pub fish and chips. Maybe a hidden tip. I mean, if it, if it could go up to like $7, that'd be cool. Would make the order a little bit more worth it for the two point, what is it, nine mile drive and then having to actually wait for the order. Hopefully it's ready. We'll click that we're there and the order is still being prepared. Now we're ready. Let's go. Cheers, man. We ended up unassigning the Miller's order. I'm going to pick up this PDQ order instead. Showed up as $8 and some change, only going 1.9 miles. And it's gonna be a little bit of, it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's a little bit of mileage to get to the PDQ since it's not in the plaza. So uh, I'd much rather take this, man. I'm tired of taking these $6 orders. The last two orders I took, both $6. And it's cool, don't get me wrong, I knock them out quick, but it's $6, bro. What am I gonna do with $6, bro? I can't even buy a coca-cola with six dollars anymore there we go finally some ten dollar orders showing up ten dollars and 93 cents going 5.6 mile brooklyn pizza it is a 1.3 mile drive just to get to the brooklyn pizza so the drop off shouldn't be too far away from the plaza i'm just happy we got a ten dollar order man i got tired of these six dollar six dollar eight dollar now ten dollar hello here we go. Thank you so much. No problem. You have a great day. You too. Cheers, my man. I was rolling through that drop off. I was going, <laughs> bro. I was shifting gears like it was no tomorrow, bro. I felt like I was in a quarter mile race in the Fast and Furious. How fast I was going. And back to the six dollar orders we go. Six dollars for one point one mile Green Market Cafe. The best things about them are the fact that they are short distance. I mean, most of them, yeah, they're all small orders, so it's not like they take a long time. It's a quick and easy drop off. But again, it's like you. You're not gonna make it far doing six dollar orders, but that's what I'm getting, so let's go. Hey, sir, is your camera working? Of course, let's get her dancing, bro. She says, Dancing, dancing. Oh, oh, crazy. Out, bro. We got you. Hey, man, I'm just picking up for Misty. Cool, thanks, man. Hey, bro, she, come on, she, huh? no, she come on, bro. I don't think my viewers would like that, though. Bro, you're, gonna, you're gonna go viral. You get this on that. No. 
you get all that blonde ass on your camera, bro? Yeah, but then YouTube would demonetize me. Yeah. <laughs> it just never works like that. You always lose. Uh, the only way around that is like OnlyFans, but I don't know about that. <laughs> nah, you good, man. Okay, so I just dropped off the Green Market Cafe order while I was on the way. Did pick up a burrito action. Now, the only reason I picked it up, I don't like picking up Ubers when I'm already on one because it doesn't show you where the customer is. It just shows you the, the place you're going to be picking up from. The order showed up as 5.6 miles, but I'm about a mile away from the plaza, or at least I was a mile away when it came in. So it's going to be 4.6 miles. But again, I have absolutely no idea where this is going to be going, which does suck. Oh, yeah, this order is way better i actually just got to the chipotle too but i got a cold stone and a chipotle order on doordash this one is 12 dollars going 1.3 miles well actually what i could do is i could take the one that i have now too because this one is a burrito action and then all we have to do is pick up that cold stone we drop off the burrito action first right there because it's not far from the plaza and then we can do okay so all we have to do is hope that the other order is going somewhere in this direction over here i did read that it was still in seminole so yeah i think that's great so that's gonna be 22 dollars order right there potential hidden tips let's go uh for colton thank you I'm just picking up for Colton. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm hoping that this Miller's order has a hidden tip because we definitely need it. It is a $6.50, 0.9 mile order, only four items. So if Miller's has the order ready, we can knock this order out in like five minutes. Easy peasy. Let's hope it's ready. Oh my gosh, man, another Miller's Ale House. This time it's seven items. $6.50 what was shown, 3.4 miles. We just have to take the gamble with that. Also, the Miller's that I just dropped off, it was $9 for that. So it was $9 for 0.9 miles. That is a perfect freaking order. Hopefully this one can have, well, let's see. Uh, I mean, that, that looks good. That looks like a lot of solid items. Hopefully this one has another really good hidden tip. It is 6.15 p.m. The first time I went there, I did have to wait, which sucks. But uh, again, every restaurant I've gone to today, other than I think Chipotle, has made me wait. Okay, so I ended up leaving the Miller's Ale House. They were just taking way too long, and it was so packed in there. It was starting, it was starting to get, like, so hot and sweaty. I couldn't take it anymore. Like, four other drivers, huge party of families waiting to be seated i couldn't do it man so i left picked up this pdq action for eight dollars going 4.5 miles in all honesty i think this is going to be the last order of the day just because it's 6 27 p.m and it just it just today hasn't really it's been a good day don't get me wrong we've made money but uh, you know with all of the restaurants i pretty much had to wait at every single one of them and then uh now i'm only getting millers and outback and neither of them are really uh you know being efficient so it is what it is we'll do this pdq and then we'll just call it for sure we did not make 200 but we tried our best like i said nothing you can do when restaurants are slow well, that definitely helps me out a little bit. That $8 order turned into $9.25. Definitely needed that, man, but I'm tired, man. Let's go to our outro spot now. Ah, it's just so sad, man. We definitely could have hit 200. I know for a fact we're not there because I can I can just kind of, you, you, you can kind of tell in midway I did do the calculations. There's just no way. Let's go ahead and go to our outro spot. Ah, sucks, man. Well, guys, that is going to finish the day for us. It is 6.53 p.m. now, ending a little bit earlier than all the other days, which is nice considering it's Sunday and I have Monday and Tuesday off. We're going to actually be ending with $191.40. And I did the calculations multiple times just to make sure that this was accurate. And it is. We were actually very, very close to 200 If I wanted to, I definitely could have stayed out and just waited for one, like, $9 order to come in to make this 200 
But you know what? I'm totally cool with this, man. I mean, it's only $8.60 away. That's fine, man. We'll just be $8.60 cheaper for the week. I also did take a look at Solana, and it is up 11% right now. It was at a low of $53, and now it's at $57.94, which does kind of suck. You always kind of want to buy it when it's cheaper, not when it's up like this. Uh, but $57 is still a steal. I mean, I was buying it when it was like 100 I was buying it when it was like $70, $80. What's $57 now? And we're going to be using the rest of our money in the account, which is, let me go ahead and see what that is, $71.35. I'm actually going to try using all of the change as well. So $71. Dot three five with a 42 cent fee is going to give us 1.22 Solana. Let's preview that, place the buy order, and there we go. Now in our account, you can see that we have 3.1829 for Solana. And also, uh, this is pretty interesting as well. So I put in $175, um, I think it was what, like three or four days ago? Now that 175 is worth $187. So we've already profited on the Solana. Solana that we bought. Now I am hoping that Solana does go down. You 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 want that right now, right? This is a great buying opportunity for whatever crypto you want or whatever stock you want. Uh, you always want it to be nice and low so that way when it does go up, your returns are better. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's DoorDash adventures though. Don't forget to check out the second channel. I do have some spicy eBay videos that I am going to be dropping. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good night guys.